you talk about Beauty and the Beast and the relationship between Belle and the Beast. One character I haven't heard you expand much on is Gaston. Gaston himself is a beast in his own way. Yes, he's the real beast. Can you discuss the difference between Gaston and Beast and how they relate to the real world? Yes, to some degree, I'll do that. We'll see how much I manage it. Gaston is the persona from a Jungian perspective, whereas the Beast is the shadow. He's the real thing. And in the Beast, there is the aggression that needs to be integrated into the character, into Bell's world, and that's masculine. That's the masculine aggression that needs to be integrated into Bell's psyche, right? Because you can read Beauty and the Beast as a psychological drama with beauty as the protagonist. Beauty is more beautiful when she's in relationship with the Beast. And that's something to think about because it's not, you know, beauty is the heroine who's, who's, uh, whose first kiss resurrects her. It, it's a different story. It's the story of the soul, the soul, the necessity of the soul to encounter the bestial, the 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 aggressive, the 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 domineering, all of that, and to incorporate it and to be able to use it. So it's the shadow, and that's the beast. Gaston is a persona, and the persona goes every which way. And so Gaston is the voice of the mob, and so is your persona. You know, because Gaston will do anything for status anything at all, except be real. He has the same problem that Pinocchio is faced with in the Pinocchio story. So you remember, you may remember, in the Pinocchio story, Pinocchio is trying to shed his strings the way that he's been manipulated behind the scenes, right? By the forces of his own psyche, being manipulated by social forces. We feel that intensely right now. It's given rise to all this conspiratorial thinking. Pinocchio is trying to move forward to become genuine. And what are the two temptations that are offered to him on his pathway? Well, the first is being an actor. And I had a hard time with that for a long time because I thought, well, I mean, this is Hollywood. Why would being an actor be such a terrible thing? But I realized at some point, something that should have been clear to me much earlier, that Pinocchio was being offered a persona, right? It's act like you're the thing. It's like the pickup artist thing. That's it. The pickup artist thing is be a great persona. It's like, well, there's actually some utility in that because no persona is not good, but all persona is also not good. And the problem with pickup artists is that, you know, they're all persona, no status. And no status doesn't mean no participation in the power hungry, you know, patriarchy. It means no genuine productive reciprocity, just the facade of that and the signaling of that. So it's a, well, that's what the persona is. And that's Gaston. And obviously he'll go whatever way the crowd goes, even if it means going after his loved, hypothetically loved one's father, or even if it means going after his soul's father, because Belle is his soul and her father is the father of us all. And so, you know, Gaston will sacrifice his soul and his relationship with God for the adulation of the mob. That's Gaston. Well, who's the beast? Well, obviously, Gaston, Bell is smart enough to note that and also to be perplexed by her attraction to the beast. But, well, attraction is perplexing and, and the redeemable beast is a perplexing entity. Um, that's what drove Nietzsche's cogitations on the revaluation of good and evil, at least in part, and, and that, that influenced Jung's thinking in a very deep manner. Um, The beast is the antidote to Gaston because the beast, Gaston, make no mistake about it, like he's a specimen as he says himself. He's a power to be reckoned with. He's a well-developed persona, but the beast is what harbors the capacity to withstand that. And that's why Bell is attracted to him fundamentally. He's the real thing, the broken man confronting his own shadow. So it's a, it's a brilliant piece of animation. It, it might be the best thing Disney ever produced, uh, Beauty and the Beast. The lyrics are, the songs are unbelievably witty. It's a, it's a masterpiece, that movie. So Belle is the soul, the psyche, the anima. The beast is the shadow and the way to the self. Um, Gaston is the persona. He's the pickup artist.